Thank you.
I remember. It happened yesterday or eternities ago. A young Jewish boy discovered the kingdom of night. I remember his bewilderment. I remember his anguish. It all happened so fast. The ghetto, the persecutions, the deportation, the sealed cattle car, the fiery altar, upon which the history of my people were meant to be sacrificed. I remember.
every hamlet, from every state and every city. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. faced with a challenge that calls for a shift in our thinking so that humanity stops threatening its life support system. If you're going to shed blood because of our land, we will. We are used to that. Our forefathers shed blood for our land. We will do so. This is my blood. assist the earth to heal her wounds and in the process heal our own. On the 9th of October 2012, the Taliban shot me on the left side of my forehead. They thought that the bullet would silence us, but they failed. And out of that silence came thousands of voices. They would change my aim and stop my ambitions. But nothing changed in my life. I'm here to speak up for the right of education of every child. To ensure freedom and equality for women. We cannot all succeed when half of us are healthy. One pen and one book can change the world.
there is so much to be done, and there is much that can be done. I have learned it in my life. One person, one person of integrity, of courage, can make a difference. To the young people, I want to say, you are a gift to your communities and indeed to the whole world. You are our hope. You are our future. Imagine what would happen if every human being would be able to live in freedom and dignity. Imagine a world when we settle our differences through dialogue and diplomacy and not through bombs and bullets. Imagine that the only nuclear weapons remaining are the relics in our museums. Imagine that such a world is actually within our grasp.